I'm here to talk to you about failure. And I thought, what better iconic failure? And by the way, this is not that kind of presentation. You know, that would be a failure of a totally different sort. <laughs> who better than Charlie Brown, who got out on thin ice even when it was water? Who else could tell you what it was like to fail? The question is, not just what would Charlie do, but what would you do? That's what I want you to think about, because we are often paralyzed by fear. Fear is what drives us into the arms of failure and keeps us there. It clouds our vision. We're going to give a name to those fears, and I'm going to give you some steps to hopefully get away from those fears. Because there's a fear of looking silly. I'm here to tell you people, you got to get over it. Get over it because, like was said earlier, you really have to think to yourself, look to yourself for guidance. Not that you don't care what others think, but you want to be sure that you gui are guided by your own your own soul, your own inner vision. Be careful that you're not behind like I am on this slide. <laughs> Lest your, your success of today be the antiques of tomorrow. Here's an important one. And speaking about you know, trying to get, I'm coming down towards you folks, so don't be, don't be scared. Don't get every duck in a row. You can't please everybody. Do not let the perfect be the enemy of the good. Very important. Now, you can learn lessons from failure, but don't spend your life in rumination and regret. Sure, you could have had a V8. Big deal. What are you going to order next time? Go figure. Apply the knowledge. That's what counts. Here's another thought. Now, remember, real sign, by the way, real sign, Portland, Oregon. This is one of my favorite slides. I, I, three quarters of these slides are my own images. Um, in fact, the Easter egg is to find the photo credits in here. It's not the end. Don't be threatened by failure. It's not unrecoverable. There is a way out. You need perspective, people. That's the important part. There is a way from failure to success. Your job is to find it. Sure, it seemed like a good idea at the time. And by the way, this is, I looked this up to see if it was current. Unfortunately, it went south. Um, you know, I was just waiting, anniversary gift, actually. But um, what you have to do is think about why it failed and how it failed. And speaking of failures, how many people, Google Wave, other fabulous Google failures, don't think that you're too big to fail. And one thing I will say to their credit, they knew when to pull the plug about 12 different times. <laughs> Sometimes you need help. You learn from your near misses. Reach out to others, although I would say please don't do so with a large stick. <laughs> you really need to help each other in terms of finding the way out from failure to success. And take your time. Yes, no elephants were harmed. <laughs> one bite at a time. How many people have done six projects at once and failed at all of them? Yeah, oh, I need the AMS, the CMS, LMS, and other MSs. And now, when, here's a very important point. What we have here is a failure to communicate. So communicate, communicate, communicate. And that even means owning up to your failures. Embrace them. Explain them. Give them context. But you got to work at it. No idling. Don't just sit back, or else today's successes will be tomorrow's failures. You've got to think ahead. It's what you're going to do with those failures and how you're going to work it that will be very important. In fact, there's actually a concept among those of you who actually do engage, unlike me, in healthy activities. There's a concept among trainers that's called working to failure. What that means is instead of taking those two pound weights and doing 50 reps, you do 10 at the maximum amount. That's how you're going to stretch and grow. And speaking of stretching and growing, you have to follow your dreams. You must be true to yourself. Like I said earlier, dream big and don't be afraid to fail big. Very important lesson, something I've learned. And of course, <laughs> constructive criticism is good. You should take that in. But to quote Spiro T. Agnew, no, yeah. Do not give in to the nattering nabobs of negativism. <laughs> I love it, Knight. No, it gives me a chance to quote like that. You must choose your own path. Sometimes you'll lead, sometimes you'll follow. Sometimes you'll lead in such a way that you're not even sure there's somebody behind you. But what you have to do is find that road and go down it and learn from those failures. Because really, at the end of the day, you only fail when you give up. Don't give up. This is the best thing I ever found in a flea market in Florida. Let me tell you, a bargain at $1.49. But it's important to know that all of us will face failure in our lives. The question is, what are you going to do about it? And how are you going to see it? 
that's up to you all. Good luck.